let's walk through a low power uh, scenario what we're going to troubleshoot where we're going to suspect that there's a problem with the jumper uh, on one of the strings but let's find out so we begin by looking at what are the operating conditions of the inverter and we notice that we've got a green blink uh, of power so that means we are exporting power and we got a power reading on the display so if we look at our choices here our choice is green blinking light with power AC greater than zero that's okay but is the power below 3000 and the answer is yes it's only 1500 um, and if we read the I information we know that from that we should calculate that we expect about 3000 watts from this system but we're only getting 1500 so the power is low so now we've got something to troubleshoot and now is the power one half of what expected and the answer is yes so now our uh, suspicions are raised right if we've got one half power and we have two strings we highly suspect that one of the strings is okay but one of the strings has a problem so we're gonna say yes we have a problem with uh, just reading half power so let's take a look and see if any wires are damaged in the DC disconnect I'm gonna touch on the knob to turn it off notice that the power goes to zero I touch on the cover and I take a look well it looks like the wires inside are not damaged or loose or anything so that's not a problem so I'll say no so then I bring up my um, multimeter device and I'm going to measure current to see what, if anything, I can learn from my uh, current flows. So I'm going to touch on the, uh, first of all, <laughs> I'm going to catch myself and I'm going to turn the power back on here. Oh, give it another switch. Okay. I turn the power back on so that I can make some measurements here. I got my power flowing again. I'm going to click on the tip of my multimeter here and I grab it and that gives me my phantom so I can measure current by using the clamp on to go around the wires so I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna to touch on my point here for string one red wire I get zero amps I'm gonna click over here I get 4.3 amps for string two come back here and check again uh, string one I'm getting zero if I clamp around it but number two I'm getting 4.3 so what that does is that tells me that my current flow in string one is zero. I've got a problem with string one. So now I figured that out. Now I can start examining those wires. So I'm going to say string one is at zero. So now I start looking at all the wires of my string one. Um, uh, so are there any MC4s connected, uh, disconnected up at the array junction box? And if I zoom in, no, everything's good there. I've got my string one wires together, my string two wires together. So that's okay. I'm going to say no problem there. Let's take a look underneath. Oh, okay, so this is looking underneath the connection between uh, optimizers. I'm going to slide over here for a second. There's my string two, my, my other optimizer. So I can see that between my optimizers, uh, I'm showing an example. I've got no problem right there. I'm going to come back. So I'm going to say, is there a break between optimizers? No. Uh, okay. So now, is there uh, is the string one jumper A wire disconnected from the optimizer string? And indeed, I seem to have a problem there. See, there's the end of my string that's going off from my jumper. This is the jumper A that's going to return the power all the way from the end of my string here to uh, the array junction box. And indeed, something's gone wrong there. Either it was not properly connected initially or it's come loose, but I've got a loose connector. So I'm going to say, yes, I have a problem at my jumper. Okay, fault found. Connect the jumper to the optimizer string to make the circuit complete. So I'm going to um, come in, connect them, and you've successfully solved the problem. So in this case, we found that there was a loose jumper connection that had to be fixed. Hey, thanks for watching the training video using Interplay's simulation-based training program. You can keep watching our solar videos by clicking on the link to your left or stay up to date on our latest solar snacks by subscribing on your right. To learn more about how the STP provides critical team training and helps you build an onboarding program at your company, please go to interplaylearning.com.